guys, Matt Bailey here from the Bailey's Diesel Group. Coding. We've had a lot of questions about it and a lot of phone calls, a lot of people wondering of what it's all about. So here's a brief interview or a brief video, sorry, just to give you a quick indication as to what it's all about. So when we're talking about calibration, which is basically what coding is all about, calibration is a way in which we used to actually adjust the fuel pumps on a test bench or the fuel injectors, whatever they were, in order to ensure that each single cylinder had exactly the same horsepower. And now, with these injectors, however, they're so sensitive, the tolerances are so small. I mean, we're already working in microns. But when we think about Denso and the way in which they're manufacturing these injectors, we're talking about them making, what, a million or so injectors every single year. Now, for them to, to stop, test, adjust, test, adjust, test, adjust, just to make them perfect, it's not a viable scenario. So what a code actually does is basically, rather than adjust all of these things so many times, what they actually do is get them to where they say, okay, within a window that they're acceptable. And rather than adjust the injector, we're going to tell the ECU what this injector is like, and the ECU will then do the compensating for us and make sure the horsepower is all the same. So that's what a code generally is. Now, with our injectors, it's a little bit of a gray area because what we actually do is, is we've worked out a way to be able to adjust them. So over 70 cc's of flow, they're not absolutely perfect, but they're within about a one cc window, whereas the original ones are sort of a 70 cc per minute flow, but a window of about six or seven cc. So you'll typically find, and we also try to batch groups of four to be the same, so you'll typically find that if you get a set off us, there might only be one or two codes in the box and they're just assigned to all the same injectors. But the reality is, is that in, in terms of your car, you don't know what EC, what, what codes are already in your ECU. So that is something that pretty much we recommend that you do get them coded. The ECU, your car should be coded because otherwise we don't know exactly what horsepower is in the cylinder. That being said, we've had customers fit them, vehicle runs perfect and they don't bother or they don't ever come back here at least to get them coded. So. Like we said, it's a bit of a, a suck it and see approach. Our approach to it is not exactly the same as Denso, and sometimes it doesn't require it, but the reality is, is that we don't know what codes are inside the ECU, so yeah, we recommend it's quite a good thing that it gets done.